still have dry shampoo here. I just put so much dry shampoo in my hair. Hello everyone! Welcome to 2017 on the Look Lovely Laura YouTube channel. We'll see how this goes. I have just literally, like within the last two hours, completely rearranged my entire room. So where I'm sitting right now actually used to be right where the piano was. And the piano is now where my desk used to be, so I'm still feeling things out. We'll see what ends up happening. Today I wanted to go through this bag with you, and this bag holds all of the lipsticks that I have worn in the last month or so, because I am really bad at using the same lipstick more than once. So I thought I would show you, out of my entire collection, which ones I've actually been wearing recently. First I have two YSL lipsticks. I freaking love this formula, the YSL Rouge Purgateur. I have them out in 01, which is a really beautiful red, and 04, which is a little darker, um, a little more mauve-y. I actually end up feeling like after an hour or so this kind of wears down into a very natural, like darker natural lip, but I really love it. I wear it a lot. This is actually sort of a favorite, especially for this time of year. This is from Steely Style, and it's one of the only darker lips that I have. This is their Give Me Lip Matte Lip Crown in Vamplify. And again, it's this darker color. It is a crown, but it is pretty matte, and it does wear for a long time. I wore this to teach earlier this week, and I taught, I think, nine lessons in a row, and I did not have to retouch it, and it still looked really good at the end of the night. This is one we used to hear about all the time. This is Touch of Spice from Maybelline, and actually when it came out I really loved it, and wearing it now I feel like it's a lot more purpley than I remember it being when it was first released, so I don't know what's up with that. I don't know if it has changed, or if my skin color has changed, or if I just didn't know what I was talking about, or what, but it's not quite the color that I remember being, but I do really like the formula. Another darker shade, again from Steely Style, this is their Lux Lips Lipstick in the New Black. Again, I just don't have very many dark shades, and this is a little creamier, so it doesn't wear quite as well, but it is a lot more comfortable. It's a little more purpley, looking at it, it's a little more purpley than Vamplify is. Here's something completely different. This is the Marc Jacobs lip gloss that I have, the Enamored High Shine Lip Lacquer in the shade Moon Glow. I got this in gratis, so it must have been at least a year ago, and it is so not me. It's just like a milky, almost clear pink shade. I don't really care for it, but sometimes I put it over other lipsticks when they're a little dry or maybe just a little too dark, so I layered it over something, apparently. <laughs> I have a couple other nudes here. Uh, the Steely Style Go-To Gloss in the shade Uncovered which I actually, this is one of my favorite formulas for lip glosses. It's a little more nudey, I'm sure you can't tell. A little more brown, a little less pink than the Marc Jacobs one that I have. And I feel like this is a, probably my favorite lip gloss formula, this whole line, that I have personally tried. Which, to be fair, I haven't tried that many lip glosses because I'm not a lip gloss person. I also have their Lux Lips in Birthday Suit which is probably my favorite nude on me personally. It doesn't go like foundation lipsy. It has just enough peach in it, I think, for my skin tone. I like this a lot. Whenever I need a nude lip, this is what I reach for. And then I also have this as a nude lip. This is from Tarte. It is the Park Avenue Princess lipstick. And I've worn it a lot. Like it actually has a funny shape on it, which is unusual. It's not as opaque and it doesn't wear very well though. So I don't wear it very often. It's like, if I put on no makeup makeup and then I don't really want to deal with the lipstick, I'll put this on and when it wears off, I just don't reapply. This is the old Urban Decay lipstick. I say old, it wasn't actually that old, but it's no longer being sold because they did revamp them. In Fiend, and this is probably my favorite My Lips But Better shade. It's here. Uh, the one right above it is Touch of Spice, if you can kind of tell the difference there. I love this formula. I love this color. I'm don't know what I'm going to do when it eventually runs out. Not that I've hardly ever finished a lipstick, but it is seriously so beautiful. These are probably my other favorite My Lips But Better shades. This is again Steely Styles Give Me Lip, and this is in the shade Lips But Better, which is quite appropriate. So there it is. It's really pretty similar, but maybe just a little more rosy than the Urban Decay. And again, this formula wears really well on me. And I also have the L'Oreal Le Matte Lip Crown. This is in the shade She's So Matte. This wears really well too. It's a little peachier, so a little more nude, a little less 
my lip shade because my lip shade are pretty pink. And then the gloss that I would wear over on any of those, you can see I actually use this one a fair amount, but words are already coming off, is from Steely Styles Go To Gloss Line in the shade Peach Out. And it is pretty peachy, so this is what I'll wear over lipsticks that I feel like are a little too cool toned, and this warms them up just enough. This is a little sample of a Bite Beauty lipstick in Mocha. This is the Buttercream, though, and I think that these have already been discontinued, so I don't really know why I'm showing it to you. It doesn't really matter, but that's what it looks like. I think I wore this once just to see if I liked it or not, and I don't remember being blown away. You have seen this one a lot if you've ever watched any of my videos. I am running out of space. Let me... Here, I'll do this. Uh, this is from Bite Beauty. This is their lip crown in Pesh or Peach. I don't know how they want me to say it, but it's this really beautiful peach shade. I freaking love this color and I wear it all the time. This is probably my most worn shade of 2016. After that, I'm down to a whole bunch of reds and one other lipstick. So let's go through all these reds first. I kind of reach for certain ones depending on what formula I want. So I have two liquid lips. I have a gloss, a balm, and a pencil. So my liquid lips, I have the Sephora Lip Cream and the Kat Von D Everlasting Lipstick in Outlaw. I love both of these. I don't think I paid for either of them. I think I got them both in gratis, which is why I have them both. Um, I really don't have any reason to pick one over the other. It's usually just which one I reach for first. If I had to say anything, I would say probably the undertones of Outlaw from Kat Von D is just a little cooler, but Honestly, they're really similar. They both wear amazingly, and this one is cheaper. <laughs> so this is a really great liquid lipstick formula, and I think they just expanded the range. Not that I work there anymore, so I have no idea, but that's what I think I've been seeing, so big fan of these. This is in the shade 01, I think True Red. So good. The pencil that I have is the NARS Birthday Pencil. It is broken, so I have to be very careful when I use it but it wears really well. It's a little on the darker, brickier side. I really like this one when I want something a little darker red, and it's another one that will wear through an entire day of teaching for me. The balm that I have is from Steely Style. It is the Perfect Pout Balm Stick in Captivating Crimson. It's a little pinker of a red, but it is actually a long-wearing balm. It's not eight hours of long-wearing, but it's not 20 minutes of wear, which is kind of normal with a balm for me. So I feel like this is one that I will usually use to layer over these. Like, I'll put this on when I go to work and then I'll put this in my purse. So that two hours, three hours, whenever later that this one starts to get a little dry, I can just put this over top and it re-moisturizes and then I feel better for the rest of the day. Here I have the Dior Addict Lip Gloss, one of these, the Fluid Sticks in 754 Pandora, and it's really more of a bright corally color, and I actually really don't like the formula of these at all, at all. I feel like in order to use enough that it shows up on my lips, it's really thick and it runs all over the place, but I use this one a lot like I use that balm, where I just put a tiny bit of it over a liquid lipstick, and then it feels so much better, and it's a very different color from the balm. The balm is much darker and cooler, and this one's very bright and vibrant, so I can use them to get a little different look out of my layering. And then finally, this is the NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick in Alien. Uh, this one I picked up for Halloween because I just really wanted to wear a black lip. It is not quite black, actually. I think it's like a really dark, maybe sort of greeny, navy. Uh, it's so hard to tell, but it's not quite stark black. But I'm actually wearing this today. I don't have a lipstick that is really this color, and this is the color that I want today, sort of a really darker brick red, but in a liquid lipstick formula. And I actually went and bought new dry shampoo today at Ulta, and I kind of looked through some of the liquid lipsticks, but there wasn't anything that was perfect enough and that I wanted to spend the money on. So I came home and I took a mixing palette and I put a little bit of my Kat Von D Outlaw and a little bit of the liquid suede and then I mixed them together and I put them on with a lip brush. And I think this looks really good. It was a little patchier, but I, mean, I think all dark colors do that and this is probably not the best black liquid lipstick that there is in the world, but it's the one I own. So I've had this on for several hours now and like I said, I rearranged my entire room, which included moving a baby grand. Not exactly light work, <laughs> thanks to my husband for helping me out with that. 
and I think it's wearing really well and I'm super happy with it. So I plan on keeping this around at the very least for mixing with other colors to make them darker. So those are the lipsticks that I have worn recently. I have so many more, but a lot that I just don't reach for. At this point, if I'm wearing a lipstick, I want it to be on for at least six hours without having to worry about it, and so many of my bullets just aren't that. But because I don't really have matching colors in liquid lipsticks, I don't really want to throw them away either, so instead they just sit in my drawer. Probably something I should work on, but uh, since I rearranged, I'm going to have to do some reorganizing as well, so we'll see what happens with that. Anyway, it was lovely to see you again. I hope you had a wonderful 2016, and I will see you again soonish. <laughs> Bye, guys.